For nearly a century, our energy sector has been one of creativity, ingenuity, and resilience. From the early days of oil exploration to providing the safe, affordable, reliable energy and products that the world needs today, the people in this industry, the people here today, who embody the entrepreneurial spirit we are known for, have made us one of the world's true energy superpowers. And for us, the future of energy is not an either or conversation. We will need oil and gas for generations to come, yet I am also proud to talk about us as an energy leader um, in hydrogen, in geothermal, in renewable energy, and of course, oil and critical minerals. Alberta's energy industry has long and proud history of showing the world how to get things done. Now today, we again are talking about adding lithium to that list. Around the world, demand for lithium is soaring as jurisdictions scramble to find more of this critical mineral used to power an ever-growing list of electronics that we rely on every single day. Of course, I think most people think about lithium, they think EV batteries, but it's also used in smartphones, laptops, alarm systems, pacemakers, and medical equipment. The world will need a lot more lithium to meet these demands. The mining can be expensive and if not done properly, it can have significant environmental impacts. But as we do in so many areas, Alberta is stepping up to this challenge. And that's why uh, we're here today to celebrate Emissions Reduction in Alberta, investing $5 million from the industry-funded tier fund to help E3 Lithium develop technology that will help continue to turn Alberta into a global lithium leader. This visionary company is turning waste that is naturally found in oil and gas industry's wastewater, turning it into battery-grade lithium products that can be sold to battery producers and automotive of companies, not just here, but around the world. E3's technology takes what is typically considered a waste project product and turns it into something highly valuable. With no need for additional fresh water, it will reduce environmental impacts while saving companies thousands of dollars. This isn't hypothetical either. E3's technology has already been piloted and it works. They just need support fine-tuning and perfecting this process before it's applied at a commercial scale. That is where ERA comes in. This $5 million investment will help E3 Lithium test this technology right here in Mountain View County. And thank you again uh, for members of council for being with us today, of course, just outside of Olds. This will help E3 operate a future full-scale commercial facility that is estimated to begin construction in 2026. Again, this funding is delivered through Emissions Reduction Alberta's Partnership Intake Program uh, and was chosen largely uh, because of its potential. Currently, the world's biggest lithium producers are Australia, Chile, and China, but that can change. Our province is blessed with the largest brine reserves in Canada, a workforce that is second to none, and of course, well-documented drill sites that perfectly position us to become a lithium extraction leader. So again, I just wanna say thank you so much to the team at E3. You are a testament to Alberta's unwavering entrepreneurial spirit. It is so great to be out here today. We are so proud of the work being done in our energy industry and on critical minerals. And this project is proof once again that nobody adapts better and faster than Albertans.